I had zero issues about anything I had done in combat, zero. And I'm like, wow, well, how can I be depressed? Like that, does, that doesn't add up. Somebody needs to be able to tell me what's going on. And I continued to sit on it so long until I, my drinking was so out of control that I was um, drinking it all day, you know, at work, not a problem, but, but I was drinking and driving, drinking in the morning and driving, drinking in the evening and driving. And I realized, I, just, I don't know, I had some, some rational thoughts there, and I was like, Jesus Christ, you're putting so many people at risk. And something that we always tell ourselves, I think, as operators is, I'm never going to put do anything to willingly put my team, the people I love about, in a bad, bad situation, to put them unwittingly or knowingly at risk, especially because of a poor decision that, that I made. And I realized at that point I wasn't, um, I wasn't for whatever reason, I didn't know why, but I couldn't be counted on in one of those situations because I, I didn't know how I would react. Am I going to have a, pan, you know, one of these panic attacks that I'm out of control, I, I can't do anything about it? Am I going to be making poor decisions all of a sudden because I can't put two and two together? You know, and, and so that's when I raised my hand and I was like, listen, I need some help. Here's what's going on. I, I don't know why. I don't want it to be there. Like, let's fix it, and then let me get back to work. And that's what I kind of jumped into the, the, the military, our military medical system, and that was just a whole another train wreck, man. But, you know, I'll stop right there, Hugh, and see if we want to uh, uh, ask any questions, go any deeper, or keep, just keep moving.